Good morning, it's Ross Wall here from Inframanage.com and this video is a continuation of our series of videos on infrastructure decision support here in New Zealand. One of our uh, hidden success stories in our asset management journey over the last 20 years or so. I'm here with David Fraser, the Chairman of IDS and Tens Henning, the CEO. Uh, and one of the things that's happened with IDS in the 18 years that it's been, the project's been running, is there's been some incredible success stories. And Tens, I'd just like to give you the opportunity to, to tell us more about those successes in the project. Thank you, Ross. I think it's well known that uh, in the initial stages of any software implementation, it's new, it's fresh, everyone is excited with it. Um, and then over time, the excitement dwindled a little bit, as you know. Um, we have been uh, looking at a coverage across New Zealand for a very long time with a third of local government being very active and proactive in their modeling, doing great work. Another third did something and we had another third that were watching from the sideline to see how things are going and, and, and waiting to get involved. Um, but then our legislation changed. We've, we've got the same requirements as the MAP 21 in the US where uh, local authorities got to do uh, long-term asset management planning for a 30-year period. And that really prompted a new energy into the project. And, and I would say easily today we would be modeling for more than two-thirds of all local authorities in New Zealand. And we have the vision of changing that to 100% coverage. I want to model every kilometer of road in New Zealand in the next two years. That's a very good challenge. And um, I know, David, there's been just some really, really good return on investment out of this project for the industry. You've got some numbers there over the 18 years. Do you, do you could just tell us about that. Yes, Ross. Um, Ross, it's really quite interesting when you start to look at the typical numbers that um, are generated. If we take the average size um, New Zealand local authority, and, and we're not talking about a large, a large authority, but just average size, the actual modelling cost turns out to be about half a percent of their, um, of their transportation or their, their roading budget for the year. And, um, but when we look at the savings on terms of their maintenance and operations budget and their renewals, it turns out to be around about um, uh, 16 to 21 percent uh, of savings, and that includes some efficiency gains as well. So not only do they um, make a huge savings return of around about 32 to 40 in terms of uh, multiplier, but they're also in the process of actually improving the condition of their network overall in the long run. So that's that's a massive ROI, isn't it? Oh, and it's huge. and um, that's mm. just been a, a demonstration of the. the huge value of this project to, to the New Zealand transportation industry. Coming off that though, Tens, I, I know that the, the project's extended in the last two years. Absolutely, Ross. With the success that we had with the transportation and the road industry, um, there were some of our colleagues in the water sector that started to ask the right questions. And given that the Dayton uh, suite of software is, is flexible to incorporate any type of assets, we have then been looking at developing a three water model for New Zealand and we have done that in collaboration with one of our authorities in Dunedin and um, came up with a three model template so we can do the same sort of analysis that we've been doing in the past in, in the roads now also in the water sector. Um, that template is, is available internationally if anybody is interested in that. And just to wrap up this video, one of the, the things that still strikes me, quite apart from that massive return on investment and just the, the huge gains we've had across our entire transportation sector in New Zealand, has been this um, IP situation or the IP capture um, with IDS. So just in terms of success there, can you just give us a little bit more information, Ted? Um, Ross, as you mentioned, this is a, a big success, for, a success factor for IDS. Um, no matter how many people you have in the room, somebody will come up with a great idea or perhaps a different perspective at looking at the same problem. Now, we were able to capture all the, of those ideas 
and share it nationally. So it is available to everybody who's part of this project. Um, that IP belongs to the New Zealand uh, public sector, so uh, we have kept that th that way. Um, but certainly everybody is contributing freely to that. And, and just to, to wrap that up, that is how you make gains. You know, the, the improvements in sectors are lots and lots of incremental small gains and, the, and by collaborating here in New Zealand we've been able to continue to drive that forward. Thanks for watching this video, we look forward to seeing you on the next one uh, when we continue this idea story.